my lovelies and welcome to Peachy. Guys, today I want to talk about this very interesting phenomenon of, you know, you spend an hour in the bathroom, you're looking bomb, you're looking absolutely flawless, but then you take a picture or somebody else takes a picture and it's just Gollum staring back at you and you're like, what happened? Why do I always look in pictures? There's actually seven very common mistakes people do that lead to them looking worse in pictures than in real life. And I wanna explore them today and I wanna tell you what you can do to make sure you look as good in pictures as you do in real life. Let's get started. Mistake number one, wrong light. A lot of people don't know this, but taking pictures outside when the sun is at its highest or inside where lights are coming straight from above is usually a bad idea. The reason for that is because bright light that comes from above creates strange shadows under the eyes and around the nose area, which makes us look worse. A better choice is always the afternoon light that comes more from the side and generally is softer and warmer. So during midday, try to take pictures in the shadow or alternatively turn on the flash to make sure your face is more evenly lit up. Mistake number two, smartphone lens distortion. In case you didn't know, the iPhone, or really any smartphone out there, stretches all things that come close to the outer corners of the screen. Therefore, a smartphone camera can easily make you look 200 kilograms heavier than you actually are, or it can also give you very strange facial features. When you yourself or others take pictures of you with a smartphone, you should always try to keep that in mind and position yourself more in the center to have the least distortion. Mistake number three, you're cramping your face. I noticed this phenomena especially with men, but in general, some people are just not comfortable in front of a camera. And as a result, they try so hard to make a decent face that they tense their facial muscles in a very unnatural way, which has as a consequence that they don't look great in the picture. If you have that same problem, always try to do some sort of face gymnastics to loosen up the facial muscles right before the shot is taken. This will make it easier to get your face back in its natural state. Mistake number four, your contouring isn't heavy enough. One important rule in photography is that a photo will always erase some of your facial contour because it generally lightens up and softens out your colors. Therefore, when I know I will have my picture taken or when I shoot videos, I always put on a little too much bronzer and concealer so that on the image it looks just right. Mistake number five, you're chewing. This seems like an obvious one, but guys, when you are somewhere with friends and you are currently chewing something, be aware that the moment someone takes out their phone, it is impossible to continue chewing and still looking any decent on the picture. So I suggest when that happens, stop all chewing motion until the danger has passed and then finish what you've started in peace. Mistake number six, your hair looks flat. Another reason why you don't look as good in a picture as you do in real life could be because your hair is laying really flat or in a somewhat awkward position. One easy way to make sure your hair looks all nice and voluminous is to throw your head down and lift it up again and then just go through the hair with your fingers. This will give you some instant volume and is likely to make a huge difference on the final picture. Mistake number seven, you didn't take enough pictures. Finally guys, pictures can be ruined through so many little aspects and usually your best bet is to straight away take a few more pictures than necessary to make sure at least one of them works. This applies to selfies but also when you ask someone else to take a picture, I'd personally suggest to always kindly ask them to take three. This triples your chances of being happy with at least one of them. Alright my lovelies, that was it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that if you did any of those seven mistakes the video is going to help you to fix them the next time so that your glorious self is going to be reflected in the pictures as well. And otherwise I'm going to wish you a wonderful weekend together with Petri. Uh, we're going to, as always, live it up and yeah, see you next week. Adios. Here's another very important life tip. Never eat the brown stuff from the banana. You're gonna die.